Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you might guess what I'm doing. I've got yellow on and we are going to do our yellow colour in our colour series and it's going to be fun. It's going to be weird. Um, it's going to be a bit of a weird one. I'm not going to lie. Um, I already have a few bits on my face but yeah we're kind of this is my little colour scheme. Obviously it's yellow but I do have a bit of a mustardy brown kind of colour just to deepen if I want to deepen. We've got another pressed glitter. Um, I've got yellow eyeliner. We're not doing a yellow lip, we're doing a yellow toned nude lip. I think it could turn out completely yellow. I'm not sure. We're just gonna have a play around and see what happens. I've got this guy which I can't wait to use. It's the Suva Beauty Dance Party Hydra effects liner. It's a neon liner. Um, so it's kind of different tones of yellow is what I'm doing. So we're doing like kind of your standard and then like your more neon. They can see my nails as well, more standard and more neon. Um, because yellow can be very different. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. And we're just gonna play and we're just gonna see what happens. On my face already, I have got on something new actually. Ooh, ah, um, my first ever Charlotte Tilbury product. I know, I am so late to the bandwagon. Um, it's just very overpriced and that's why. But I ordered this because I get a discount obviously because I'm a makeup artist. And it's the Hollywood Flawless Filter basically a base or a highlighter an illuminator that kind of thing and I'm number one fair and it just has a very nice very soft champagne -y kind of sheen off it it's beautiful and I see why people like it so much I understand now I get it I was wrong but yeah I'm I'm very excited for like during the summer when I don't want to wear too much makeup well depending on if we're still in lockdown <laughs> um I don't know but if we go on holidays maybe um, or the next time I get to go on holidays I can't wait to use something like that and just no makeup but just that it just gives you a nice glow there's a tiny bit of coverage in it it's great and um, I also did a new thing as well I mixed my face and body foundation with my prolonged wear concealer I put kind of less than what I would normally use of this so I don't know a couple of drops like four or five drops where I would normally use six or seven drops and a pump and a little bit of this in to give a bit of coverage as well and I use that and I just use under my eyes the same concealer just for more coverage and I'm loving it yeah and I'm sweating right now by the way it's so freaking warm right now um, and then on my eyebrows I just have my Ingla eyeshadow in three five eight I think is the number of oh, heart let me just double check three five eight yes I do use it a lot and um, I just have that on my brows right now just because I wanted a bit of a softer brow and not too harsh and yeah let's get into oh also on my eyes my eyeshadow primer there is a reason i picked this eyeshadow primer i use my smashbox lid primer in light on my lid because i wanted something that had coverage similar to my skin you'll see why um but not my p louise base because it's a bit too light and it's a bit too sticky and it does crease if you don't put anything on top where this hasn't creased yet so yeah and it's close enough to my skin so it works great because i'm actually doing all my color in here and very little color out here that's generally the bad we're going with so I'm excited for this so let me zoom you guys in and we will see what happens okay so we are all zoomed in we're gonna get started but before I do I just want to comment on my nails because I don't have anyone else to comment on them so um this one the kind of more normal yellow one is takes so long to dry and I keep dinging it off things um, and I keep trying to patch it up but it's not I keep I just keep doing it and I can't help it and um, so I've patched it up now and hopefully they look okay the luminous one goes on great so I don't know they're two different brands so we just have to work with what we got um, so let's move on to the face. So I'm going to take the Ingla eyeshadow in 474. Yes, 474, which is like a yellow. It's one of those that's matte, has a tiny bit of sparkle in it, but you don't really see see it too much. And I'm taking this on a MAC. I think it's a 268 or 286, which it's a duo fiber fluffy brush. I just want something big and fluffy. And we are just going to start taking that onto the inner corner. And like I said in the beginning, I'm kind of feathering it out, but I want all the colour to be in here. Because I'm going to do glitter out here, and I'm probably going to blend my a bit of the yellow underneath the wing and kind of down into my blush. It's going to look weird, it's not going to be normal, but sure look, you don't come to this channel for normal videos. So just bringing that onto the lid a bit as well. And we're just taking that all through the crease, just make sure this is nice and blended. Then I'm going to put my Real Techniques shading brush, taking that same colour. And we're going to pop that on the inner part of the lower lash line. Thinking like reverse milky eye, that kind of thing. Um, 
if you watch Beauty Bean, which you probably should, um, as everyone should be watching her, um, she does a lot of reverse smoky eyes. So these are pretty fun, and I've never really done them too much. I've probably done them in my like, you know, general life. I've never actually done it like for videos. Okay, so our next yellow that we're going to move on to, I don't know how much different it's going to be from this, probably just a bit stronger. Um, we're going to take the September Rose Slush Palette from My Beauty, and you will see this probably a lot in these videos because it is a rainbow palette. And it's one of my few true rainbow palettes, or semi-true rainbow palettes. Um, and I love this palette, it's great. So we're going to shockingly take the shade Banana. <laughs> um, and I'm taking that on a MAC 217 brush. It's slightly stained from pink still, so just ignore. It's a bit more of like your standard kind of yellow yellow, so like more like that yellow rather than that yellow, which is what the liner is going to be. So more like a primary yellow is what I kind of mean. So we are again taking that in to the inner portion of the eye. You can either like focus it more on the lid, you can focus it more into the crease. It's up to yourself how strong and where you want your definition to be. I'm going to mostly take it to the crease and then just kind of feather it along the lid a little bit just like that as i've said before these looks are not going to be normal not in any way shape or form but you can see it's a bit stronger now between the two sides it's nice i'm going to go in with my shading brush again clean it off a little bit but i mean it's all yellow it doesn't really matter take some of that banana shade and run that more so to the inner portion of the lower and on the very inner tier where we'd normally highlight i will be highlighting but i want a lot of color there too and ding my damn nail again what the hell oh my god i just have no patience i have no patience i should have like painted my nails like this morning not an hour before i filmed okay so that's all for september rose as far as i can see um what i want to do now is take preppy this is the kind of brown that has like a yellowy tinge off it and i don't even want it to look like this color going on my eye i just want to deepen Give a bit of definition. I still want it to look completely yellow though, but just to give some definition to the eye. Taking that on a 221 brush, just a little bit at a time. You can always add more, you can always build it up as much as you want, but start light so you don't go too far with it. And this is just going to be focused into my crease. Just for some definition. Taking a small little bit of that on my shading brush and just popping it onto the inner part of my lower lash line as well. But like it's it's gonna be even softer than this like this is even not too dark but it's on the darker side so i'm definitely gonna be blending out over this this is not not a look for everyone i'll say that but for all my weirdos out there i'm representing you guys I, i'm also a weirdo by the way don't take offense to that i take that if someone calls me weird i take that as the most genuinely sincerest compliment to me because i am weird and i embrace my weirdness just taking my 217 and just softening out any areas where it looks like you've popped brown. You still want the depth to be there like that. You don't want it to look like you've put a load of brown eyeshadow on. And I can always add more, but like the, the showstopper of this is going to be the liner and the glitter. And the kind of, the whole look together is a showstopper, so it all should come together. So the, these elements are just kind of all added together to make the big thing. So let's move on a little bit more. What do I want to do now? Oh... I think I think I'm gonna do my liner will I do my liner okay I am gonna do my liner but just before I do that I'm gonna take the shade voltage from makeup geek it's a duochrome has a very very strong yellow gold flash to it and I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take my little shading brush just because why not I can always clean it if I need to I'm just going to take that and we're just going to pop that onto the inner corner. Like it'll still look really yellow because the yellow is behind it, but it just gives you that little flash of shimmer. I've decided I'm not going to do the glitter or the glitter or the liner just yet. I do want to start do some more shadow along towards my cheek area. So I'm going to take my big fluffy brush that we use first, the 268 or 286, I'm not sure which way that number goes. Um, and I'm just going to take that kind of from my outer lower lash line and just kind of blend it down a little bit. I'm not bringing it like all the way across here. I'm kind of just sticking with that out there. Almost if you imagine where the wing of my liner is going to go, we're going from there. 
because I don't want to be blending after I put liner on. I don't know why. I'm just taking my foundation brush, just kind of stamping around that a little bit just to soften it down a little because that's a bit, it's a bit too fairy like for me. So I want to just soften it a little bit. You still want to see the yellow because we do want to blend our blusher into that. Now my blush is not yellow yellow but it's a yellowy tinged blush. I don't actually own a yellow blush. I know that's quite trendy right now. And I do wish I owned one, but I don't. So this is what we got to work with, guys. This is what we are working with. Okay, still looking weird. We're gonna go back into the slush palette. And we're gonna go back into Bonana. And I'm gonna take that on my 217 and do the same. Starting with the most pigment up high and coming down. But I'm not using as much of this as I did the first colour. See, I feel like because yellow is, it's a strong colour, but it's a soft colour, if that makes sense. Like, it's not as punchy as red, and it's not as punchy as blue. Um, and it doesn't get as dark without going too brown. Um, it kind of just either goes brighter or lighter. So it's it's always going to be, not, it's always not going to have that much depth in it. So I feel like for this look, I do want to go bigger with the placements and bigger with everything. Um, just so to really really show off the colour because this is as dark as my eyes are going to be I'm just going brighter from here on out so we're kind of just working with all elements of yellow so that's the way it's gone okay so now we are going to go into the fun liner this is where the inspo for this nail came from this nail matches everything else this nail matches my liner and um, this is Dance Party by Suva Beauty it's one of their Hydra liners so I always use Fix Us because it gives me a really nice smooth kind of consistency. You want to get it just with a nice paste, nice general painty kind of, something you can draw a nice smooth line with and it's all just yourself. You have to kind of gauge it yourself. Just taking a 210 from MAC, very skinny brush, I'm just going to make my little paint. Ooh. Now just because it's neon I might need two coats. But I'm just going to get my general shape going and I do want it to be thick, you know, I want I want this to be noticeable. I'm loving the colour so far. So, what do I want to do now? Let's do glitter. I think glitter glitter, glitter is going to be a good option right now. This is just a Charles Fox little, 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 little and flat. And we're going to take, this is, ah! I'm going to go everywhere. <gasps> i ding my nail in it. <laughs> So after my little disaster there, I got all, or most of the glitter out of my nail. Um, this is Palooza, it's a press glitter from Colourpop. Not eye safe, yada yada. Use it at your own discretion, yada yada. Um, I'm gonna use it, but the way I work with glitter that I know is, and to be honest, it's with all glitters, I don't even just do it if I know it's not eye safe. Um, I take the glitter off before I take anything else off. So I'll use Makeup River on a cotton bud and take it off. I've said this in my last one, um, but just so you guys know, if you're only watching this one here, you just want to see the yellow one, that's usually what I do when I'm taking these glitters off. So I'm just taking a little bit at a time on my flat brush and we're just gonna press. And I want this to be above the liner. So I'm not going on the liner, just above the liner. Okay, so next step is gonna be some liner on the waterline. This is Punch from Colourpop. It's one of their gel liners. Again, it's more like these kind of yellows, what's on the eyes, not the liner. Um, so it's just kind of a mix of all different yellows. Uh, we're just gonna pop that on to the waterline. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm not doing any black liner. I'm just gonna leave it with the yellow as far as I can see. I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm all mascaraed up and I'm all lashed up and everything's on. I did my face concealer and I also did my face powder as well. And I kind of use my powder to blur edges of this as well. So just so it looks nice and soft. So let's move on to blusher. So this is the blusher that I want to use. So it's this guy here. It's from, this is a Barry M blusher palette. Um, yeah. <laughs> No other name, no colour, it's the one that has that kind of orangey yellow and then, or like this peachy yellow kind of colour. I'm going to use that on my cheeks blending into my yellow and if, if I feel like I want to I might use some of the yellow eyeshadow on top. But we're going to just go with it as we see fit. Um, I'm just taking this brush from number 7, just like an angled brush. And we're just going to take some of that and I'm going to start back on my cheek, like back into those shadows and then bringing it onto my cheek. So it's yellow, but still blushy, if that makes sense. 
looking a bit orange, so I probably will actually add a bit of yellow shadow on top. I kind of love it though. I'm going to take the teeny meaniest little dab of that Inglot eyeshadow, the very first one that we used, like that much. And just go over that, just a tab, a tab, a tad, just to yellow it up a little bit more. And then just because we're not complete without some highlight on, I'm going to use Nor Ooh, Northern Lights, which is this kind of yellow gold from my Huda Winter Highlight Palette. Um, and we're just going to take, this is an e.l.f. concealer brush, I think. Um, it's just like that, but it's a nice size for this. And if you want to go insane, go insane, by all means. I'm kind of applying it on the top of my cheeks, make sure it blends into those lovely colours. Oh yeah, I am yellow. Great, I love it. So, take the lip balm off. So for the lip, like I said, it's going to be a yellow tone nude, but it might be more yellow, it might be more nude. I'm not sure how it's going to look, and my lips are quite red. So what I'm going to do first is take out the colour of my lips with my foundation brush, just with whatever is left on it. Okay. I'm going to use Strip Down Liner from MAC. Now this might not be the yellowy brown on you, it is on me for some reason, it just goes like that on my skin. And we're just going to line the lips. Just, just for definition, I'm not even bothered about kind of how the colour looks because I'm going to go over it anyway. So just very lightly filled in, but I'm not even, not even going any further than that. Then I'm going to take the lipstick Leave Me Breathless from MAC, which is a nude that has that kind of yellowy tan colour. I think I mentioned this in my favourites video as well. It's a lovely colour, but we are going to make this more yellow. And we're just going to hot that on. That's what it would look like with nude, and I actually quite like how that looks. But I do want it to be a tiny bit more yellow. So I've actually got this here. So this is the eyeshadow that we use. This is the 474. This is the shade 91. Yes, 91. Um, it's actually a lipstick from Inglot. It's one of their Freedom System lipsticks. And they have these like really colourful, like it's got green and blue and, and like really bright colours. Um, and you can put them into a palette, which I've done. I've got like purple, pink, orange, yellow and blue. Um, I don't have the green, I should probably get the green. And yeah, you can kind of mix and match them as you need to. But I'm going to take a small bit of that on my finger, just a dab. And I'm just going to dab it on my lip until I'm happy with how it looks. Alright guys, so this is our finished look. I know it kind of looks like I've got foundation lips on, but they are kind of yellow tone nude, so you'll see it in the pictures. Yeah, I feel very boho with this on. I don't know what it is. I feel like flower power, whatever, what's it called? Um, something child. Flower power. Flower child, is that what it's called? I don't know. I'll probably look it up and I'll probably put it somewhere so I you know what I'm talking about um but yeah I feel very like hippie-ish I think it could be like my shirt is like one of those so kind of like that I got my chokers on I got a middle split in my hair with my hair straight I normally only do a middle split if I curly my hair but I've got it with my straight hair um or semi straight it's getting frizzy because it's very warm right now but I'm kind of loving it I feel very ethereal I'm very I don't know, I'm kind of feeling this vibe, I like it. So yeah, that is our finished yellow look. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's very fun. I really, really like this. And I would not be opposed to wearing this one out either. Let me tell you. I'm gonna say that I'm pretty sure all of these color looks, I would al always wear them out. And in fact, whenever I'm back in work, I might do something like this. Maybe not with the liner because um, the liner, is a different brand and my the place I work doesn't actually sell it so that kind of colour anyway not something you could make that kind of colour anyway and um, actually it could probably be good um yeah maybe not the glitter then but I'm loving these cheeks I was unsure and now I'm in love I love I love I love so yeah if you did like this video then give a big thumbs up down below and I'll do more I'll do more 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 if you give me a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what you think of this look would you wear this look i'm loving it and i'm feeling this vibe i like it i don't know what it is i just really like it and yeah you can let me know what color you want i've said this in my last one what color you want done for my color series i've got the rainbow colors they're definitely getting done i've got a few more colors after that so it's up to you if you guys want specific colors i'll put them before the other colors that i want to do but i do want to do my seven 
rainbow I'm adding pink in instead of indigo because indigo is purple and blue mixed together and I don't want to do that. Um, I might do it eventually but I want to do pink first. Um, so yeah, I will do it after though so you can let me know what you want and you can contribute to this series. And hit subscribe down below to see more colour series. Up next is green. It's going to be green next. True green. I'm also going to do a khaki green and a lime green eventually and maybe a teal kind of colour. Um, but this is going to be like a true true green. Your normal standard green. Grassy green. Emerald green. Those kind of colours. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye! Thank you.